back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let me introduce myself. My name is Bernadette and I am a stay-at-home mom. In order for me to stop from going insane, I do all sorts of things to keep myself busy. Um, I love all things sewing, gardening, cooking, and arts and crafts. I do a lot of sewing here on this channel because I have an Etsy shop and in there is where I get the chance to share with you guys the little project that I do throughout my day um, here in my home. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me and welcome. So anyways. This is not a tutorial or a DIY. I am just simply sharing with you guys um, the way I make my hair scrunchies. On this particular day, I happen to be doing some batch um, scrunchies for my shop because it's time to replenish the shop. So I wanted to bring in some new colors in there and I thought um, these colors would be really fun. So um, yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along. It's Sunday today and I hope that you guys are having a wonderful, relaxing Sunday. Um, this is all I did all day was to, um, to sew scrunchies and I am doing a voiceover is because my sewing machine is loud and the stop and go stop and go on the sewing machine was not very pleasing to hear so I had to remove it I think if I kept it I would it would irritate you guys because it was irritating me stop and go and and the sound of the sewing machine is not really uh, very pleasing anyways to begin with so I'm doing a voiceover so just bear with me I hope I don't just ramble here so anyways I thought I'd turn on the camera for you guys because like I said I wanted to to share with you how I put together my scrunchie and the reason behind it so the big big reason why I do it this way is because I don't need an additional tool to clip my scrunchies right side out. I simply just need my my finger and pull that scrunchie out. So that's it. And I love that I can do that and I can just grab the scrunchies, the tubes, and take them along with me anywhere I want to go. Sometimes I take them with me when I go pick up my daughter. Uh, from school I, while I wait for her I would sit in the car and just turn them on so easy and then second I like the way that my elastic is flowing through the tube it's not tacked in there halfway through the tube so sometimes it may be in the center sometimes depending on how you look at it whether it's a top or bottom you know, I like my elastic free flowing this way. When you turn your scrunchie, it'll turn right along uh, with the twist, you know. And so, and it's easier for me as well because of the placing of my tag. And then, third is you know, if the elastic ever break or become untied in that tube, then you'll be able to to just unstitch the closure in there that little beady maybe an inch and a half two inch closure just unstitch that and then you have access to the broken elastic you may need to just tie it back up or you might need to replace it this way you know you have access to it and you can do that yourself and and then get your um scrunchie back in service again in no time that's why you know I like it I think the big thing is because I don't need a tool so uh, give it a try and see how you guys like it 
and then in addition this this um, finished is um, it has a very very nice clean um, finish to it so um, that's why I like it well, anyways I hope that you guys are doing well in the end here you will see how much scrunchies I've done <laughs> there were some reds some blues pink two kinds of pink um, and and black black ones um, some of the colors just reminds me of uh, of my rooms did I say that right my rooms yeah pink ones the blues and the cream oh, they just remind me of those delicious dessert so anyways um yeah, that's all. I just thought I'd turn on the camera and uh, and share with you guys what I was doing on this Sunday. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you were able to um, get some ideas from this. I don't know. I hope I inspire you. Go and make your own scrunchies they're not hard they're so easy to make so but if you don't want to mess with that feel free to go visit my shop triple it on etsy and um thank you again take care and i will talk to you soon